Lovely Scorpio, welcome to your reading for May 2024. This is a general reading for you Scorpio. It's a reading for Scorpio sun rising and moon sign. <clears throat> Please excuse my voice, I'm just recovering from the flu, hence the lateness of this monthly, these monthly readings. So, <clears throat> your channeled message. I, it's very, very important <clears throat> that you are heard. I'm feeling like your voice can be lost in the ethers. People are really not listening to you. They're not tuned in to you. <clears throat> the delivery of what you're wanting to put forward is very important as well. It's the old adage of, you know, when you are a talker, you talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk, people tend to switch off. And then there's someone that hardly ever says anything. And the minute they speak, everybody goes, oh, wow, okay, they must have something to say. So it really is about choosing your time. Um, the timing's very important of when you want to say, um, um, tell someone something, talk about something, rectify something, put, put a point of view forward. That's going to be very, very important. <clears throat> I'm going to draw a card for you from my Divine Animal Oracle deck. Let's see what is there for you. So what have you got? You've got <clears throat> the armadillo, groundedness. Groundedness is very, very important for you this month. Being grounded, being sure-footed, being practical, um, not being flighty, not being emotional, not you know. So I suppose when you want to say something, when you want to put forward your point of view, it really is about um, choosing the time, choosing the method, choosing what you want to say, so that people do sit up and take um, and pay attention. But it's also about being very practical about the changes you want to bring in around you. What changes do you want to bring in? What do you want to um, what goals do you want to achieve? Is it um, changing your job, retiring, traveling, buying a new, um, a, an expensive item, redecorating? What is it that you're wanting to do? Finding that relationship. It's about planning as well. So the page of, of Pentacles is about planning for your financial future, planning for your abundance. You, uh, it, you know, it could be your, a completion of study, and now it's time to find that that job that you're you were looking for, what you're striving towards um, to improve your financial security. If you're retiring, it's about your uh, what are you going to do with your finances and your financial security? How are you going to spend your money? What are you going to, uh, how are you going to, um, what are you going to do in your retirement? Are you going to keep working or having, doing odd jobs? Um, if you are <clears throat> simply planning to buy something, travel, what what um, what plans are you making? You've also got the Empress, and the Empress is about anything that you're choosing to do in May is going to be very, very fortuitous. Anything that you're going to do, anything you're going to begin, any goals that you're setting in the page of, of Pentacles is going to pay off. If there's a business that you're going to uh, put in place and start, plans that you've, you're putting in place, things that you want to achieve, goals that you want to set. It's going to be a very, very good month to uh, put those forward because they're going to pay off. This is the birth of new ideas. There could be new inspirational thought that's coming through for you, new ideas, new plans that are coming through. But in order for new things to come through, for you to receive the new things, there's also things you're needing to release. You're walking away from a situation, a job, a way of thinking, an old you. Are you being re reborn? Who's coloring their hair? Who's, there's a rebirth here. There's a new beginning here. There's a new way of being. There's some sort of sh um, shift that's occurred. It's like a switch has gone off. Oh, no, I don't want to do that anymore. This is the new me. This is what I'm going to accept. This is what I want in my life. This is, uh, this is where I'm moving to and I'm going to leave all that other stuff behind. So that there's a, a closing of a door in a sense, um, leaving things behind that are no longer relevant for you no longer relevant and you see you're walking through a threshold you're crossing a threshold there's something you feel very passionate about something that you want to always, have always wanted to do something that you've always wanted to achieve this is going to happen really quickly for you in May 
a job opportunity is going to come up, a business opportunity is going to come up, um, and, um, an awareness of, I, I really want to travel, this is where I want to go. Opportunities are going to be there. Who's going, I'm going to Singapore, I don't know, Asia. I, that's that's just come up for me. So there's someone that must be considering that and doing that. So <clears throat> you've also got the Hierophant, my lovely Scorpio. The Hierophant represents faith. It represents religion. It represents the higher realms. It represents your higher self. It represents the spiritual realm. So there's got to there, there is a, a real sense of intuition here, a real sense of knowing. You're going to have this awakening of this is what I need to do. I feel like this is going to be a force that's pretty much unstoppable. This is how you're feeling. This is what you're wanting to. Uh, you're going to be driven. You're going to be guided. So whether your dream life's going to be very active, you're just going to have these pearls of wisdom dropped into your your awareness. There's going to be synchronicities that are around, um, opportunities that are going to be there, very subtle. So it's about you being very grounded, very observant of what's going on around you. When you're grounded, you're not distracted. You're focused on where you want to be and what you want to achieve. Really important. You're also are going to have a tower moment. Aha, I can hear you all. I can already hear you all. Aha, no, a tower moment. A tower, I don't dislike the tower. The tower is a time of review. It's a time of cleansing. It's a time of releasing. And when you release, you give, give yourself space to have new things come to you, new awareness coming to you. My throat chakra is going nuts here. So I'm, I want to say to you that there's things that you're needing to speak out about there's things that you're needing to say it's all in the delivery be grounded take out remove the emotion remove the emotion and and um it's how you're presenting whatever it is you're going to present but be open to receive to receive this month cleansing the tower can be releasing if uh, getting rid of clutter around the house moving things on I want to say to you, it's also about, could be about working through your wardrobe. You know how you've got stuff in there and you think, oh, I can't let go of that or I never wear that, I haven't worn that for years. Well, how about passing it on, moving it on to others, <clears throat> give it to charity, gives it a good energy, an energy of moving. Who's got a whole lot of books and things that they need to sort through? There's paperwork, there's books, there's things that need to be sorted through. So what is it that you're releasing? Is it behaviours, attitudes, ways of dealing with people, cycles? Is it um, people that you're needing to maybe delegate to where you had them, you were doing a lot for them, delegating them down like you know okay you need to start standing on your own two feet I don't have the time to invest in in dealing with all of that is that is that what it is as well you've also got the knight of wands and I like this the knight of wands is putting that fire in your belly taking action moving forward you're going to be an unstoppable force it's going to be something that you're driven to do here it, whether it's a new job a new career um, a new line of work a new business this uh, uh, working on your relationship, taking your relationship to the next level. What aspect of your life, what sector of your life is this working on? There's going to be this is an energy that's going to be very, very difficult for you not to act on. It's going to be very difficult for you to go, oh, I'm going to ignore that. I'm just going to stay where I am. It's going to be very difficult for you to stay still. It really is about moving. It's a moving energy. It's a moving energy. You've also got the fool, which I really love. You know, you've got the empress. And then you've also got the fool energy, which is the new beginning. This is the first card in the tarot deck. Being the first card in the tarot deck, the fool jumps empty handed into the void, into the future, leaving behind the past, even behind the baggage, leaving, moving forward unencumbered. So that marries with the tower moment really well. You need to release what no longer serves you in order to move forward in your life into uh, what, is, what lies ahead. And I've got to say to you that what lies ahead is going to be tremendous. You know, you've got the fool and you've got the world. This is, this is a, a new beginning, a new start. 
a time to receive. This is a time to receive expansive opportunities, you know, coupled with the, you've got some very powerful cards here, coupled with the Empress, you know, there's, there's absolutely nothing holding you back. There's nothing standing in your way. Dare to dream. What is it that you want to bring in? Um, it's, it's all about um, your outlook, your attitude, and getting ready to receive everything that's beneficial, everything that you've worked towards is going to come to you. Now, you've also got the seven of the seven of pentacles, and this is about I just wanted to have a look at that. This is about patience. So you've put in the hard yards, you've put in the work and you've re you reap some of the rewards this month, but there's more to be had. And I want to say to you, June and July are months where there's quite a lot coming for you, coming to you, being gifted to you. you go and you're going to see great changes. By August, you're sitting pretty. You're sitting pretty. You are then aware of what's coming towards you, what is there for you. Patience is called for. It's not something that can be rushed. You start to see some of the benefits. Just drawing a card from Divine Abundance. You've got two, so I'll give you those. There's, um, it's about patience. It's not about forcing issues. It's not about forcing your opinion on people. It's not about forcing what you want to achieve. But rather, it's about um, sowing the seeds, putting the seeds out there, getting things in motion, starting that new business, starting that new project, writing that new book. Who's a photographer? Who's a photographer? Get going. Use those talents. Use those skills because May is the month to start receiving your rewards. You've got, it <clears throat> doesn't surprise me, the first card you've got is Grounded. Grounded. So, it's so important for you to remain grounded and focused. Remain grounded and focused. Let's read this. You've got butterflies, which is about transformation. Many of the most evolved beings on earth are regular folks living with joy, dignity, and courage. Being grounded. Being, and when you're grounded, what does that mean? It means that you are confident in your own skin. You're not, you're not striving to achieve anything. You're not pushing to achieve anything. You're not ego-driven, but rather you are... You are who you are and you're confident in that. You've also got reframe. There's gifts that the universe wants to give you. Are you ready to receive them? Again, more butterflies. This is happening for me, not to me. And so anything that you find that is, is happening around you, even the tower moment, it's for your benefit. It's for your growth. It's happening for your highest good. And so embrace it. Remain grounded. When you're grounded, you remove emotion. There's none of that big fluctuation. You're solid. Solid. You are now on solid ground, my lovely Scorpio. Enjoy it. I wish you love, light and many blessings for the month of May. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book that reading from there. Blessings to you.